Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on this Tri-5 video. And listen, we've had a lot of Tri-5s come through here. I've driven them all. I can just tell you some are much nicer than others. And what do I mean by that? Well, you say, well, Tone, if you're selling a car that's not that nice, that's not what I said. What I said was some are nicer than others. This is the case of this one here, and I want to share with you why. We're going to look at some of the upgrades on this car, and it's exactly how you'd want to do it. My point is, by the time we're all done here, this car here is such a great value compared to how long it would take to get it done and the dollars that it would take for you to get this car to that level, right? Today, paint can be in between twenty dollars and $30,000 for a frame-off paint job, right? Doing the frame and all, taking the whole car apart and what have you. That's just the body and paint. We're not talking about the engine rebuild, right? Now, 396 can be ten grand now, right? Throw in the four speed, uh, the uh, great rear that's in this car, right? The whole drivetrain is, drive is built to do that. <laughs> Roll on down the road, and that's exactly what it does. I can tell you firsthand that driving this car, you can drive on the highway, you can drive around town, you can drive around some corners. This is built to drive. Everything about it has been either replaced, replated, polished, uh, refurbished, like all of this stuff in here is fabulous, all right? Uh, I have rambled on a lot, but I get excited about these things sometimes, and how am I gonna avoid that? You need to know when we've got a great car and when there are cars that are just nice cars, right? This is not one of those just nice cars, this is a much nicer nice car. All right, so I like to talk about paint because it's important, right? Why is it important? You say, Tone, I don't know, man. The build of the car is the most important. I say, you know what? You're absolutely right. The build of the car is the most important, but nobody buys a primered car that's built well. It's got to be shiny and good, too. And how do you know that, right? Pictures today with AI and all of the things that are going on can easily be manipulated. I like to do the video, and I'll tell you why, because it's live, it's fresh, there's nothing we've done or can do to it to make it uh, something that it's not, and I like to see the, the, the pureness of that, right? So let's take a second real quick and look at the quality of the paint. How you judge paint, don't look at the paint. Look at the letters in the paint. Look at the ceiling in the paint. Look at those things. When they're crisp like that, that is much better paint. When they're fuzzy and foggy, right, you can still see them, but they're fuzzy and foggy, then uh, what we have is very average paint, and we don't want that, right? In the case of this car here, I also get, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, man, it's beautiful. Why is it a great looking car? Most of us don't know why. I wanna point out a few things. First off, when you spend five to $10,000 doing re-chroming, replating, and things like that for all of these pieces in here, all of this stuff has been redone, and it looks wow right these are upgraded headlights in here and then uh what i like to point out is during the 50s and right to this time the jet age is upon us right the jet age is upon us right uh the vietnam war hasn't come out yet we have uh world war ii has ended this is in between those two right and the jet age is here and the styling of the jet came into the cars you're like tell me what's that mean what's that mean right i see the thing on the hood that's exactly right so here we have uh, what looks like a bird, but also is a jet, right? And inside here, we have the intakes for the jet engines. On the side here, if Angel come over here, you'll see the sweep to make the car look like, uh, like, like, it's, like it's flying and it's moving. You can just build a car or you can build a car that everything works the way it's supposed to together. What do I mean by that? Let's talk about that for a second. Forget the fact that this is spectacular looking inside. And if you want to go to a car show, it looks amazing, right? But in here, we have things like a radiator that's 100% bigger than the original factory radiator, right? Why is that important? Because you don't want to overheat, man. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. And we solve that problem like this. This engine makes a lot of power. It's 396 cubic inches that's been built. It's over 400 cubic inches, making over... Uh, I don't want to call a horsepower out, but let's say it's close to 500. Let's just say it was, right? When you have cams and things like that that are aggressive, you lose vacuum. And with that, when you have power disc brakes on a car like this, it has four-wheel power disc brakes. You need vacuum to stop. Otherwise, it feels like pushing on wood. How do they solve that problem? Good question, Tone. Good question. Here we have... Uh, this braking system here called Hydro Boost, right? That makes its own vacuum, right? It makes its own vacuum, so you don't need to worry about that. It doesn't even need vacuum because it has a pump in it that pumps the fluid and, that, and works its way it's supposed to. This also has the CPP fast ratio power steering box in it. 
giving you that great handling. And down here, we have a tubular control arm suspension by strong arm. Like all of the great parts are in here. Your choice to go to the next level would be, do you want to change the wheels and tires to maybe some 18s all the way around with a much wider footprint? Or do you want to be sneaky, stay with rally wheels and whatever? We can fix either one of those problems. Just talk to us about that. Lastly, uh, when you see things, little detail stuff to me says, uh, I took the extra step. For instance, all new wiring is in here. You can see all the color codes, all brand new wiring in here. Brand new, right? Boots on the spark plugs, right? Making sure that they don't do that. Overflow tanks that are made of billet, right? You could easily have a cheapo uh, plastic tank in here and it does not, right? It has a serpentine style belt system in here. Upgraded uh, power steering. All of the stuff that makes for a driving car, I'm telling you, man, when you drive this car on the highway, it is fabulous. Imagine, uh, you know what, we'll talk about the other stuff, imagine driving part uh, when we look at some other things. All right, so continuing on the restoration conversation that we're talking about. All new taillights, taillight bezels, uh, wires, uh, uh, bulbs, bumpers, chrome trim, door locks, trunk locks, you know, all of these things. They say, well, Tone, of course that's been done, right? Yes, but it costs a lot of money to do all this. Look at this package tray. It is beautifully done. It's pleated. It has an upgraded audio system in the car. We're going to look in the trunk right now and see some of that as well. Make sure you look at the pictures of this underneath. It's just as nice underneath as it is on the top. All right. If I was going to fault this car, there is nothing on this car that I would fault other than one thing, and we'll fix that, and that is the battery box. I don't love it there. They moved it to the back here. I love it back here. I just don't love it because it's kind of uh, missing the lid and, and not great. So we will uh, do something about that. But back here, all custom carpets, all been painted back here, all the insulation's in the right place, like all of the little detail stuff that you would normally not get in a car. Somebody has done all that hard stuff. And then here, there's a CD changer. Uh, in case you have some CDs, maybe you're from the 90s, maybe you're from uh, whenever. I like all CDs. I like the 90s. They were great. Okay. I love the 80s. All right. Anyway, just when you see the fit and finish on that when it's closed. All right. So you walk up to this beautiful car because it's yours. You go, man, I love this car. But I want to tell you that once we get inside this car, you're going to love it even more. Back to my original statement when I said people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. Let me tell you what makes a Bel Air different than other cars. For instance, this is called the A pillar. This would be the B pillar, and this is called the C pillar. So if you've ever seen styling done, they always talk about those things. You notice that we are absent of the B pillar, making this a coupe, right? Like the top is just on by itself. It's what made these cars revolutionary, getting rid of this ugly, ugly B pillar there that doesn't look good. This is kind of cool too, because you have, uh, let me see if I can reach in there and do that. Where were we? Yeah. Look at this, is this, I was driving so, but look at that, huh? How cool is this that this works just like it's supposed to? If you wanna take up smoking, something like that, it's all the rage people are doing all the time, that would be a perfect window to do that. I'm just kidding, I'm not suggesting that. All right, let's get inside here and see why this car is a little bit nicer than others. All right, mm. imagine, imagine spending $15,000 on the interior of a car. You go, Tom, come on, how is that possible? Well, first off, you need to paint the dash. You need to do all new headliner, all these stainless ribs, visors, mirror. This special wheel's a thousand bucks because it's an Impala wheel and it's made smaller to make it easier to get in and out. Add tilt steering column, this is a modern steering column hazards, right, the way they're supposed to, all new HVAC controls, digital sound system that looks like an old school radio, right, all of the vents are new, they work the way they're supposed to, this has upgraded wipers in it, the original wipers were vacuum operated on this car, this has an upgraded electric wiper system, like I'm telling you man, everything has been done on the car, the only thing that you might add to this car if you wanted to, might be power windows if you wanted, but I think it looks so nice with, uh, with the handles in there. They actually make power windows, believe it or not, that you leave the handle there and that's the switch. You just move it up and down. Uh, again, those are the kinds of things that you can do to kind of make it your own if you want. Otherwise, it's already done. The seats are new, the foam is new, the brackets are new. This is a custom Impala uh, console installation. So this is a factory Impala SS uh, console. However, uh, it's got the pieces in here which make it pro touring with the big brakes and the big suspension and all the engine and all that good stuff. Uh, as you roll down the road. Lastly, before, because I'm rambling on, is I want you to think about taking the kids out to dinner in this car or going out with another couple to dinner, right? Think about that for a second. 
dinner is going to taste a lot different and it's going to taste a lot better. Why? Because this is not like your daily driver. Listen, today's daily driver is a great car. It's probably the best car ever built, but it doesn't sound like this. It doesn't feel like this and it doesn't get parked out front for the valet who loves this car versus, uh, you know, your, your Santa Fe that gets parked around the garage. Not that the Santa Fe is bad, but it's not a Bel Air. All right, so we're recapping this real deal Pro Touring Bel Air, right? It's not a 210 or 150, it's a real deal Bel Air. And uh, whew, a lot of stuff we talked about, man, from the upgraded braking system, the upgraded suspension, upgraded drivetrain, uh, the digital, uh, Dakota digital VHX, VHX dashes with all those gauges in it, custom parts inside, custom uh, seats, just uh, everything being replated, refurbished, the color combination is fabulous. The chrome, the stainless, on and on and on. I don't want to revisit the whole video because I don't want to wear you out, but I want to tell you this. This is one of the best driving cars we've ever had here. Everyone here who has driven this car can't say enough about how great this car drives. We're doing this video in 2024, right? We're approaching the 70 year mark of this car, 70 years old, right? How amazing is that, uh, that this car is beautifully restored and ready to go today? Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000, I'll tell you all about this uh, 55. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time and maybe share it with your friends. They might like to see some of that too. And I'll see you on the test drive. It doesn't matter how good it looks if it doesn't sound good. Check this out.